BBC News with Gareth Barlow. In the biggest single tranche of US military assistance to Ukraine, the Pentagon has announced a package for Ukrainian troops worth a billion dollars. It will contain rockets, ammunition and more precision missiles that have helped Ukrainian forces attack Russian troops far behind the front lines. The hardware will come directly from readily available Defence Department stocks. The authorities in Cuba say three crude oil tanks have now been destroyed by a fire at the northern port city of Matanzas. The blaze began on Friday night when lightning hit one of the depots. One fireman is known to have died, 16 others are still missing. The Mexican authorities say an underwater drone will be deployed as part of efforts to reach 10 workers trapped for five days in a flooded coal mine in northern Mexico. The device provided by the Mexican Navy has a high-resolution camera to identify obstacles without putting lives at risk. The miners have been trapped since Wednesday. A US court has sentenced two of the three white men who murdered a black jogger in 2020 to life in prison for federal hate crimes. Gregory McMichael and his son Travis are already serving a life sentence for the murder of Ahmad Aubrey, a black man who was shot dead while jogging. The closing ceremony of the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham has taken place at the end of the multi-sport event. Australia, which will host the Games next in 2026, topped the medal table, then followed by the host nation, England. And the singer and actress Olivia Newton-John has died at the age of 73. Born in Britain, she grew up in Australia and went on to be a star in Hollywood, best known for her part in the film musical Grease. She was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 1992 and spent many years raising money for cancer treatment. BBC News.